Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're doing a little decorating after dark. I'm going to be decorating a lantern for springtime. Here we go. Hello you all, I hope you're doing well. This is part of a collaboration put together by Yanni and Diane from Deco Easy, and it's called Bunnies Hopping Around the World. And so there's a bunch of creators who will all be uploading content on a playlist, which I will link in my description box. And there's gonna be DIYs. Oh, Hooper has entered the frame. That's my dog, Hooper. He's looking for his bed. It's usually here and I moved it. <laughs> Hold on, let me show him where it is. Okay, Hooper's gonna join us. <laughs> I had moved the camera so it wouldn't be in the shot, but he wasn't happy about that. So he's just gonna be there and I'm gonna decorate right near him and he won't, he won't mind. Anyway, so I will link the playlist in my description box. There's gonna be people doing DIYs, decorate with me's, all different kinds of Easter and spring themed decor. So I'm gonna go ahead and start for my part, I'm going to be decorating this large lantern that I have for springtime. And I have used this lantern here before on my kind of my hearth area before. I love it. My mother-in-law got it for me. It is originally from QVC. Now I know it's frustrating sometimes when you watch like decorate with me's, you might not have the same things. So I'm gonna be giving you some ideas for things that you can use if you don't have exactly what I'm using here, just so that you could achieve a similar look in your home. So let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna turn the camera down slightly so you won't be seeing my face. You'll see more of the lantern. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first thing you need is a lantern. If you don't have a lantern, you could also use a bird cage. You know, there's like the decorative bird cages, anything like that. If you didn't have that, you could use a large basket. I like the idea of a lantern. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it looks warm and lovely here at the hearth. I'm actually going to try something new. I saw on an Instagram account where I got my inspiration from, they actually left their lantern open. Look at that. I need to clean that. It has wax on it. I will clean that. Uh, I'll get some glass cleaner in a minute. But, um... So they left their lantern open and I just thought that looked really pretty. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't have cats, so that won't be an issue. And I can go ahead and leave it open with the decor and you can kind of see the decor a little bit better. So let me get some glass cleaner, we'll clean it up and then we'll go ahead and decorate. Okay, I've got my nifty Windex. I'm gonna give it a little wipe down. That wax appears to be on the outside. Also, if you notice, I have paint on my hands. I was doing some DIYs earlier today. That's what that's all about. Okay, so we have the lantern all cleaned up. Now, the first thing I wanna do is put a bottom layer. I want to use moss. If you didn't have moss, you could use like a wooden, like a wooden hot plate or some kind of pretty dish you could put in here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Spanish moss because I have a ton of it. And I believe this, yeah, Crafter Square. This is the stuff from Dollar Tree. Used to be a dollar, now it's a dollar 25 here in Minnesota. So I'm gonna use the whole package and I've actually already kind of spread it out just a little bit, but I kind of, I opened it and then just kind of, you know, pull it apart a little bit like that. So that's going to make a nice little bottom layer and I don't have to worry too much because remember I said I'm not going to close the door so I'm not going to worry too much if it hangs over if you wanted to close your door obviously you'd need to make sure everything fits neatly inside okay the other thing I want to put in here is a candle and I want to offset it based on the Instagram account that I saw I will link it in my description box because it's from Europe and I don't know what language it's in but I love her pictures and so I'll link that in my description box. And so she had um, a lantern decorated and it was kind of like with an offset candle. And I don't think that's really pretty. However, I think I want to raise it up. She actually had two candles. I don't have really room for two candles. And one was bigger and one was lower. I think I want my candle kind of to be a little higher up. So I'm gonna probably raise that. So I got a few options to raise it up. Um, this is what I think I'm going to use. And I think it's supposed to be a milk glass candlestick. Like you could put a candle in there. There's another candlestick I was thinking about made in Portugal. 
And if you just have a candlestick without like a flat thing on it, you can always use like a little plate or a coaster. Sometimes I'll attach these with like poster putty. So it's like not, it's a, not a permanent connection, but it, it makes it a little sturdier. So I could totally go like that, but I really like the way just the white looks. But again, I'm just trying to give you ideas. If you don't have a milk glass pedestal um, candle holder, you could, you know, fashion something else with things that you have. This is just, um, well, this one's not a great example because I put a candle in it, but they have these at the Dollar Tree as well. It looks like a little milk jug. This one's black because I was burning a candle in it. But you could also, you know, attach something to the top of that just if you needed height on a candle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my milk glass one. And I'm just gonna stick that in there like that. I think that's gonna be fine. Yeah, that will give better height. That's much better for what I want. Okay, so next I want to use some florals because on the inspiration picture, she had gorgeous, gorgeous pink hydrangeas. I do not have pink hydrangeas and I didn't want to buy anything new. I'm trying to use what I have this year. I'm not making a lot of decor and I'm not buying much decor. I'm just using what I have. So I have these from the Dollar Tree. So that's a possibility. I also have my wire cutters because you know, you can always snip them down. Um, I thought these kind of looked like hydrangeas. Mm, but I don't love that. I don't love that. And I don't really want to cut cut them because I might want to use them like this and something else. So I also pulled some of these from my stash. I still stand by the fact that these are probably the best flowers, florals that the Dollar Tree ever put out. They put them out about four years ago, I think now. And I just think they're fantastic. So I might go ahead and use these because they're pretty. I like the springy colors. I only got two. I do have more. I can always fetch more. She just had hers kind of kind of tucked in like that. Oops. Cooperate flowers. <laughs> okay, that's good. Maybe these like that. Oh, that's pretty. They're pretty. They're still pretty four years later. They're still lovely flowers. And I kind of turned it so that the stem isn't so obvious here. Okay. All right. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Um, okay. And then I wanted to put a bunny in here because if you know anything about me, I love bunnies. I really love bunnies. And so these are two options. This one I just bought at Target. This one I had, um, I think this was given to me by my friend Clay Ramage. Uh, he's another thrifting YouTuber and we go to the same uh, Goodwill outlet store. And I think he gave this to me. I Either he or his wife, I think, found it for me. I could be remembering wrongly, but I think that's who this is from. So this is a thrifted bunny. This one's from Target. You can get it. I just got it this year. So let's see what we think. That's cute. Oh, he's cute. I'm not sure I love the brown. I might want to put him somewhere else. I might like the florals. Yeah, I definitely like the florals. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. He, she, I don't know. Okay, he's adorable, but he's gonna wait. I'm gonna put him somewhere else for my Easter decor. But this is cute, because I like the way that the, the floral on the bunny offsets, you know, I mean, kind of matches the florals. And um, note to self, you know, you could totally make one of these. It just looks decoupaged. Like, so if you had a pretty napkin, you could definitely make a decoupaged bunny. If you had like a styrofoam bunny from Dollar Tree or from somewhere else, or even one of the, the little ceramic bunnies, you could totally decoupage this. So anyway, that's something you could DIY, but I don't have to, and he's adorable. Okay, and then I did get some lace. I'm gonna tie a bow, but I'm feeling like I wanna fill in a little. I brought some eggs. I think I might put some eggs with him just for kicks and giggles. Uh, what colors? I have this whole bag. And these came from different places. Again, this is all from my stash. I've gotten them from Target. I've gotten them from Dollar Tree. I don't know where in particular these came from. I don't like these colors. The white one's nice. Oh, white's too bright. That's too bright. 
That's too bold. I like the speckled. These don't have speckles, but I guess they don't all have to be speckled. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of fill in. I'm gonna stick these in here and see what I think. Oh, they're cute. They're cute. And I wanna put one because you can see, um, you can kind of see the stems. So let me move my bunny before I knock him onto the tile and break him. That would be terrible. Let's see. Oh, I'm throwing eggs. I'm throwing eggs. Let's see if we can get this one back here. And then maybe another one back there. Just to kind of cover the, yeah, to cover the stem a little bit. That's good. I don't mind that so much, but it's kind of this, the end of the stem. Just to give it a little disguise. Okay, and let's stick our buddy back in. He's in there pretty securely. He's got a lip here, so that should hold him in okay. And I'm gonna go pink and blue. Oh, there, like that maybe. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay, I like it. Okay, and I really want to put a bow on it. Here's my, I have this great little, uh, oh, here. This is how I store, by the way, all of my craft supplies. These are boxes from Michael's, and you can label them. They're picture box, picture storage boxes, but I use them for my crafts. And I have this one full of fantastic vintage trims, and when I find them at the bins or whatever, at craft stores, I buy them, and I just put them in here, and then I can pull them out when I want to. So my thought for the bow here is that I might layer, I was pulling out some different ones before, and I found this one is pretty, and this one, I'm not making a fancy bow, I'm just gonna do what I call a shoelace bow, I'm sure there's a real name for it, but that's what I call it. Maybe, maybe this one is pretty, okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie it like I'm tying, you know, a shoelace. So just, I'm going to leave enough of a tail and just want to kind of do this and pull it through. So I'm not altering it. I can reuse it when I'm done with this lantern. Let's see what we think of that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. That's really sweet. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this one. Here's my scissor. I did bring a scissor in. Yeah. And it's okay that they're different lengths. No biggie. No one's going to notice that. Maybe I'll just um, trim up one of the ends of these. Oops. Just so that um, they're not, you know, so nothing's perfect. So everything's like a little... different lengths. Okay, that is gorgeous. I love the look of that. It's like antique kind of vintage or um, Victorian. And to attach it to my lantern, I'm just going to use a piece of this wire, floral wire. I'm going to make it longer than I think it needs to be just so it's easier. It just snips like that. And I like this as the front of my bow, so I'm going to stick my wire in the back. Okay, for some reason my camera shut off, <laughs> but I got my bow tied. It's just my shoelace bow. It's floppy and I'm good with that. I like that look. And then I just attached it to the ring on the lantern using some floral wire. So I think this looks terrific. I love the look of this. It's so like antique and pretty and feminine and springy. I think it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and I'll take the camera down and show you what I did. Okay, so here's my lantern so you can get a better look I love how it turned out. I just think it has a really romantic look to it. And it's not quite in the position it'll be. I think I'm going to push it back a little bit. But And then actually the person that I saw, like she had something set up here. Like I think it was like a bird or something. Just some cute other little display things. So I'll probably put something else there for the season. 
I hope this gives you some inspiration for how you can use things you might have sitting around your house, things you might have used during other seasons you can pull out and reuse for springtime. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that playlist um, in my description box and I'll see you in my next video.